that's like the one prep kind of thing that I just can't stand doing. I hate peeling and chopping or pressing garlic. Just give me the jar that's minced already. You know what I mean? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lauren. I'm on a journey to lose 150 pounds. I am just over 55 pounds down on the My WW Blue Plan. And recently I've shared a few different videos of WW dinner ideas, um, what I eat in a day on WW. And you guys are really loving hearing about new recipes, ways to either get started or refresh the kinds of things you're making while following the WW Plan. And so today I thought, Let's just go ahead and all this week, let's film our lunches. And that way I can give you guys five ideas on what you can eat for lunch on the WW plan. I'm gonna be including points for WW Blue, which is what I follow, but it's super simple to kind of figure out and just add in the ingredients to track for what plan you're on. These are also great recipes you can try if you're following iTrack Bites or on another health journey, just looking for some healthy, easy options for lunchtime. I'm a stay at home mom, so I have the opportunity to cook for myself for lunch, but I also really love easy, fast, grab and go kind of lunch ideas. So don't worry, across the five lunches I'm sharing, there'll be a little bit of both. So for all of you out there who are actually leaving the house to work or you're working from home and just don't have a lot of time to prepare lunch in the middle of the day, I get you. Before we moved to Georgia, I was working full time in an office and had to figure out what to bring for lunch myself. So hopefully I'll share some good ideas for everybody and let's eat. So I love when I have the time to cook, making myself a little bit of like breakfast for lunch, eggs and like hash browns and veggies. This kind of a dish really fills me up and I probably won't snack then anymore until dinner time. A lot of this too was prep for me because I made something similar over the weekend. And I try to plan ahead that if I'm making something that I know will keep well in the fridge or freezer, like make some extra of it, portion it out. And that way we made these kind of similar like egg bowls. I posted them over on my Instagram um, over the weekend and I'm able to use the pre-cooked leftover bell pepper, onion, sausage, spinach mixture that I made, I just put some in the fridge. So all I had to do today was warm through some hash browns on the stovetop. They were easy to use frozen hash browns. I love the Trader Joe's ones. Um, I just used three ounces of those. I put on the veggie like hash mix along with some turkey sausage in there. There's three links of turkey sausage. So tons of protein. Um, you get three of those sausage links for only like two points. So pack it in. Um, and then I just put a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese on and two fried eggs. And I just used a couple squirts of like avocado oil spray in the pan and that counts for zero. So I seasoned it up with some salt and pepper. And now my favorite, anytime I have eggs, I love throwing on salsa or sometimes I'll just use the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning. I love this stuff. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this on and lunchtime. Hey guys, Lila is watching a movie. She's just had her lunch. Now it's time for mama to figure out what she's having. And well, like most moms out there, not every day's lunch is glamorous. This is my toddler's leftover food. She ate three quarters of her quesadilla. Um, she did eat all the applesauce. That's one of the things I struggle with as a mom on a weight loss journey. Before, I would say that's one of my habits and struggles when I was trying to lose weight was I wasn't realizing how many times I was like eating the last couple spoonfuls of mac and cheese off her plate or you know finishing off her peanut butter and jelly that she didn't finish. You deserve to have your own lunch. So I am gonna have my own lunch but I'm not gonna let that little quesadilla go to waste. But to keep my points low, I mean it's literally a quarter of a quesadilla. It's not gonna be many points. Um, but I did have my Starbucks coffee, so that cost me a few today. To balance it out, I'm gonna heat up some chicken noodle soup today. This is one point for a cup of soup, which is half the container. It's three points for the whole thing because I just had my coffee like a little bit ago and I'm having a couple pieces of quesadilla too. I'm just gonna have one cup and then maybe I'll just have a snack later.
Hey guys, okay, it is Wednesday. I am, sorry, I just finished doing a little yoga and weights. Lila is down for a nap, and now quickly before she wakes up, I'm gonna try and get a little lunch in. I am using the air fryer today, if you can hear it in the background. This recipe, guys, I'm so excited to try it. Um, I've done something similar, but this is the first time I've like put all of these ingredients together into like one dish. So Trader Joe's came out with a spicy mustard sauce. You can use this as a marinade on meat. You can put it on veggies like I'm doing today. It's so, so stinking good. So I went ahead and prepped my veggies. Today I'm using Brussels sprouts and carrots. Um, I just peeled them and chopped them roughly so they're in bigger pieces. I'm going to make a little dressing out of this mustard sauce along with a couple other things. Warning, this sauce is spicy. It has quite the kick at the end. I like some spicy food. I don't like anything too hot. I don't like really like hot, hot sauces or anything, but I found that putting red wine vinegar into the mix really helped to like mellow the flavor out a bit. Also, if you don't wanna try this specifically, you wanna try something similar, use plain yellow mustard, which is zero points, or you could try using like a honey mustard or something like that. Mix it with a little bit of maple syrup. There's so many ways you can do a twist on this and still get that like sweet and spicy mix with this mustard sauce on the veggies. So I have them in the air fryer right now on 400 for about 20 minutes. Um, and then I'm also going to make, I'm gonna slice up one chicken apple sausage and I'm just gonna like roast this real quick in a saute pan. This would make a wonderful meal prep meal idea. You could easily do a big batch of these veggies in the sauce with your cut up sausage next to it and then like roast it on a pan, portion it out into containers and easily have a few to bring with you to work to heat up at the office or so it's just like portioned and ready to go to quickly pop in your microwave if you're working from home or if you're a stay at home mom like me and don't have a lot of time to cook some days. It's a great, just real quick option. So I'm gonna finish making this and I'll share it with you when it's done. And I put the veggies in the air fryer so they have that really great char on them too. And then I just sauteed up one of the sausages in a pan. I love the idea of doing some meals that are more of, I guess what people have kind of started calling meat on the side, where the biggest portion of your plate is taken up by your veggies and other healthy, good for you items. And then you still have your meat and protein, but in a much more reasonable portion. It is sweet, it is spicy, it is savory. There's protein and tons of veggies and vitamins and minerals in here. This is gonna be a new staple for a while, I think. So, so good. Here's what I'm having for lunch today. These are a new find for me and they're amazing. I couldn't recommend them more. They're the Tyson Air Fried Perfectly Crisp Chicken Breast Fillets. You can use them to make chicken sandwiches like I'm going to today. You could cut this up for strips on something if you wanted to. It's really yummy. The chicken stays juicy in the oven. It's only four points per patty and these patties are no joke. This is a regular size hamburger bun. Look at how big this chicken sandwich is and how good it looks. So I have a regular size hamburger bun for four points. You could do something lower point like using pita or something else to lower the points on this too, but we had these and I wanted to use them up. So I have a regular four point hamburger bun, a four point chicken patty, lettuce, zero points, and a tablespoon of some light mayonnaise. I'm doing 15 barbecue poppables chips. I think a full serving is like 25 of them for around five points. I'm doing 15 of them for three points just because that seemed like a lot to me today. And I'm doing about a half cup of grapes for zero points. So there you go. That's like a 12 point lunch. And of course a giant cup of water. So I'm gonna eat yum, yum, yum. This looks delicious and really satisfying. Another tip, I don't know if I'm the only one out there who does this, but this isn't a full size dinner plate. This is like a salad plate. One of the tricks I used to use with myself when I first started WW was using smaller plates and bowls. Sometimes like 
American made plates and bowls have gotten so huge in the last few years. When you put an appropriate portion sized item on them, it looks empty and visually your stomach is still going to feel hungry. So it's a good visual cue. It shows you like you have just a huge full portion for lunch, even though it's all portioned out and really good for your points, but it looks full and I don't know, maybe it's just a trick that works for me, but try it out. Use a smaller plate and see if those hunger cues trigger in your brain, like saying, oh, you're going to be full. This plate is full. Hey guys, so today I'm sharing the last lunch of the video. The next in my series, I've already done a video where I showed like a full week, like seven whole dinner ideas. Um, I'll link that above in the iCard. But now that I've done dinners and lunches, if you guys like the series, leave me a comment below. Do you wanna see breakfast next, like a week of breakfast ideas? Or would you like to see a week of snack and desserts like in one video together? So let me know. Okay, so for today's lunch recipe, I gotta work quick. I was doing stuff when I after I put Lila down, so she's gonna wake up pretty soon again. I'm so terrible, guys. I never stopped to eat lunch until like between 2.30 and 3. And that's why I'm never hungry to eat with my family and it's like a whole trickle down situation. I gotta get better at just like eating when she eats. So, but these are recipes that would be great for that because I can prep them ahead of time. Today I am doing chicken salad and this is a great recipe because you could eat it on a sandwich with bread. You could eat it just with some crackers. You can eat it by itself or on a salad or in a wrap. So many ways to mix it up just by making one batch of this um, at some point during the week and you could take it multiple days and switch it up a little bit. Here's a little sneak peek at our new setup. It's not quite finished yet. So for anyone who doesn't know, we moved into this house in November, just before Thanksgiving. And this kitchen was just like a big open square. And so my husband is building us an island and I'm so happy to have more counter space. It's gonna be so great for all of my cooking videos that I do and share with you guys. So I'm pretty pumped. It's in progress. We just got the base of it put together last night. So paint and paneling around the backside and all that is yet to come. So stay tuned. I'll do a reveal of our new little kitchen. For our chicken salad, I am using some of our meal prepped smoked shredded chicken. Um, I shared this in my monthly meal prep video. So I had some of it. I took out one of the two pound bags this week and had it thawed in the fridge. We used it for two other recipes this week and now what's left over, I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this pretty fine and throw it into a bowl. I'm going to have some grapes. I wanted more grapes than this, but my daughter and husband got to them last night. So we're making do. I like a little crunch in my chicken salad and look at how crazy my green onions have gotten. You guys, I just trimmed these a couple days ago. Do you guys do this at home where you can like keep growing the onions you buy from the store? So I bought one pack of green onions, um, I think at Aldi like two or three weeks ago. Um, I only needed just like one bunch out of all of them for the recipe. So what you do is you trim off the tips and you put it in a glass with a little bit of water. Don't fill the glass all the way up because it'll mold them. You want it just hovering over. I just refilled it. Um, just hovering over where the roots are. And then you can keep taking pieces, trimming them, and it'll keep regrowing. Like see all these new sprouts? Bada boom, easy peasy. Um, every now and then I'll like toss them all out and start fresh. But these have gotten super long. I cut, seriously cut all of these, trim them down like three days ago. So I'm gonna trim some of these off and chop them up, put them in the chicken salad. The smoked chopped chicken and I just chopped it up a little bit smaller than what it had been shredded into. I added a couple stalks of green onion and also some um, halved grapes. So this mixture, zero points. And then for the dressing, this I wanted to share because you could use this little dressing in a bunch of different ways and it's zero points. <laughs> or I guess the way I'm doing it, it might be like one point, but it just depends on your taste. So for the dressing, it's so yummy. It's like a lemony garlic dressing. I did a cup of nonfat Greek plain yogurt. 
And then you just season it with salt, some cracked pepper. I have done this before using like fresh minced garlic and it's delicious, but I was lazy and didn't want to get out my mincer and deal with the mess of that. So I just used some powdered garlic um, until I hit up Trader Joe's this weekend and get more minced garlic that's like prepped and ready in the jar. That's like the one prep kind of thing that I just can't stand doing. I hate peeling and chopping or pressing garlic. Just give me the jar that's minced already, you know what I mean? So I put all of those seasonings into the plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, I juiced half a lemon and put that in there. And you could use it just as is. That as a dressing is delicious. When I do chicken salad, I just add just a couple tablespoons of um, either some light or olive oil based mayonnaise. And I know that does have points, so you'd have to calculate that in. But I just, to like a cup of Greek yogurt, I just put in literally two tablespoons of the mayonnaise as the dressing. And this is going to make two serving sizes, the amount of chicken I have. So I'm going to put up the recipe card and the points breakdown at the end when I share the finished thing with you guys. But this dressing, you can use this to make your chicken salad. You could use this as a dip for veggies. You could use it on shrimp or on chicken or on a salad. It is so good and such a great flavorful low point sauce that you can whip up really easy at home with a lot of stuff. Like these are all my staple things I have at home all the time. I'm not running to the store for a specialty sauce or anything like that. It's like natural good food and it's so yummy. So I'm gonna mix this together and I'll show it to you in a minute. I went ahead and mixed up the chicken salad. I'm just having it with a serving of the reduced fat wheat thins. You get 16 crackers for one serving and I'm just gonna like scoop them or I might use my fork and just eat it. I also just grabbed a little slice of a lemon there to squeeze in if I want a little extra zing. So yummy. I'm gonna link all the recipes if I used one that I found on like Pinterest or a blog or whatever in the description bar. Make sure you guys click those links and give credit to the bloggers who came up with them. I always like to find recipes and then like this one, like I tweak it to just how I like it. I didn't wanna use a bunch of mayonnaise in it so I swapped it out for the Greek yogurt with just a couple tablespoons of the mayonnaise to get that creamy flavor. So you guys gotta just play around in the kitchen. That's how I find the best recipes when I'm on WW is just like finding recipes that sound good and then tweaking them to how they'll work for my points or how I'll like them. That's it for today's video, a full week of what I eat for lunch. I hope that you were able to find an interesting recipe or something that sounds good to you. Don't forget to vote down in the comments which one you want to see next, what I eat in a week on breakfast or what I eat for a week for snacks and desserts. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you click that red subscribe button and ding the notification bell so you're not missing out on any of the videos that I'm dropping on the channel. And make sure you hit that like button and share with friends and family. Everyone needs a little support as they get started in our weight loss health journeys. So I'm here for your support. Thanks for being my accountability. And until next time, bye. bye. Thought I